Hi, this is Leah Leggett with Greater Athens Properties and welcome to Monday Market Update where I will be reporting on what's been going on in the real estate market over the last 30 days for both Clark and Oconee counties. This video is about a week or so late, but I was out west for about 10 days on a 2,700 mile road trip through Montana, Wyoming, and South Dakota. And half the time, we didn't have any cell service until we got back to Wi-Fi at our motels. So I waited until I was back in Athens to do this update. It was a great, much needed trip, and I am back now and ready to give you an update on the real estate market in our area. Let's start with Clark County. Over the last 30 days, 125 homes were put under contract, which is down from 134 homes in May. 125 homes sold, which is up slightly from 122 homes. And of those homes sold, the average days on the market was 18 days, which is down from 27 days. And the average list price to sales price ratio was 101%, which is up from 100%. Now in Oconee County, 47 homes were put under contract, which is way down from 72 homes in May. 69 homes sold, which is pretty much the same as May. And of those homes sold, the average days on the market was 24 days, which is about the same as May. And the average list price to sales price ratio was also 101%, which is up from 100%. The housing market is still strong and it's still a seller's market, but there are signs that it is cooling off, especially over the second half of the year, and will return to a normal real estate market, which is a healthy market and what we all want, especially with leveling the playing field for both buyers and sellers, since it's been a heavy seller's market. The real estate market is not going to flip to a buyer's market and no bubble is bursting. It's just starting to cool off and trend to a normal market. We've seen price appreciation, low inventory, record high percentage sales over list price, record low days on the market, and historically low interest rates. But buyers are getting out of the market and that's one reason the market will normalize the second half of the year. So here are some things you should know on what's trending for the second half of the year, according to our chief economist. The market shows signs of normalizing as the market is cooling, but it still remains strong and pricing the home right still matters. Let me touch on these a little bit. Like I mentioned, a lot of buyers have left the market. They are getting tired and it's starting to show. A lot of them have signed leases or were priced out of the market because prices just kept increasing. But I feel a lot of them were returned to the market in 2022. It's also never been a better time to sell, so don't wait to list your home or you'll miss out on an extremely attractive real estate market. But keep in mind that not every property sells quickly as every property is unique. So pricing is very important. So you want to make sure you price it right to begin with, but don't be too unrealistic on a list price, but still be aggressive. We have started to see price reductions. So if your list price is too high to begin with, the home will sit on the market. I've heard a few sellers say, well, if a buyer loves my house, they'll make an offer. But that's not necessarily true. And especially if the house was just listed. Not every buyer will make an offer on an overpriced property, even if they love it. So keep that in mind. Also, price appreciation will normalize as rates and in inventory rise. We will see existing inventory inch up, supply is expected to improve, so we'll see more listings, 
but not an oversupply. Interest rates will inch up a bit, but will still remain historically low. Also, the percentage of mortgages in forbearance is decreasing, but most sellers have significant equity that they could still sell, get a lot of cash, and be okay. At the beginning of the pandemic, people feared a mortgage crisis or that the real estate bubble was bursting, but that's not happening. But I still hear it from people all the time. But I always tell those people to get that out of their minds. We are just trending towards a normal market, which is what we want. I also hear that housing is becoming less affordable, and that's true, but equity appreciation has happened quickly, but this isn't the norm and won't continue as the forecast shows that it will trickle down. So in 2021, appreciation is about eight to 9%. In 2022, they're predicting about 5%. And in 2023 to 2025, they are predicting appreciation to be back down to a normal 3%, which is where it was before the pandemic. So appreciation will normalize. It won't stay this way forever. There is a lot of interesting and confusing information out there, and a lot of it is out there to scare you, like things you see on the news. But every market is different, and local markets are different from national markets. That's why it's important to talk to a local realtor in your area, as they will know the trends and the forecast and all the good stuff of their local market. One thing and doing these videos each month is to provide you with the right info on what we are seeing in our local area as real estate professionals since we live it and breathe it every day. So I hope you found this information helpful and remember to reach out with any questions and if you have any real estate needs let me know. Call me. I'm always happy to help and I am never too busy for your referrals. Hope you are enjoying your summer and we will see you next month. Ain't that right, Lenny? <laughs> Bye y'all.